Hi Aries, um, this is a special forecast for singles, okay? This is a past life reading for singles. For all of you who's been looking, like, where is your soulmate? Or why is it that none of my relationships work out? Or why is it that, you know, um, the people that I, can, that I got involved with, it always ended up in the same thing. Or in the same form, same bottom line. You know, like the it's same old pattern, just different faces. So let's take a look, Aries. Where is your real soulmate? And who were you in the past? What are your karmic, um, you know, karmic debts and karmic lessons that you need to fulfill? And the person that. You know, if ever that there's a person that keeps on coming back and forth into your life, what are the lessons that you have to learn? Or if you feel stuck in a situation or relationship or like an ex, okay? Not a relationship, but an ex, okay? So, you know, when I actually say that singles, it doesn't mean that single as in like you're not dating anybody you can be a single but you but you're already you know in a relationship you're already dating but you're not yet married okay so aries you used to be an orphan okay that's why that you feel like you can't let anybody get close to you because you have that fear of being abandoned you're so afraid of clinging on to somebody or you're so afraid to cling on to somebody that you value the most or and then all of a sudden they'll just go you're so afraid of being rejected and you know like loving somebody and then all of a sudden they're just going to be gone especially that you're so afraid of death or you know for a loved one to to die now there is a part of you that you feel like it's it's missing um you're still looking for for that missing part of you that you can't find okay in anybody or in anyone else that you've already been with and you feel like where is that missing part of me okay like um you know because in your past life you don't even know where did you came from who are your parents do you have a family where did you came from where is your hometown okay why is it that your that your mother just left you why is it that you're there at an orphanage or why is it that you're alone why are you wandering off the streets okay so you live more of a survivor that's why you have a very strong soul and you have the tiger you know fierce um soul okay like you're like nobody can get close to you because you're too brave or you're too strong but at the end of the day sometimes you're still looking for somebody who will be your hero someone who will say to you that don't worry everything else will be okay or you know just sleep it off you know because tomorrow will be a brand new day and it will be all okay but sometimes you feel like being strong is a curse that you know, that strength, that too much strength in you t just leads to an isolation. Because nobody around you that even if you will try to give your all, your heart, your money, your resources and everything else. You feel like, why is it that nobody gets close to me or nobody can, you know, get through my walls? Sometimes you are just trying to higher up your walls so that you can see who is even worthy of that space that you are reserving. For that person who really deserves you. Now, you have a talent in music and arts, okay? And you were also persecuted, and um, you've gone through an inquest over a, over something or over a crime that you did not really commit. It. Or it's like you have a practice, or you're, you know, let's say for example that you are a member of a religion, community, people, group, or whatever it is that is. Um, let's say during that time, okay, because this time, or sorry, this um, lifetime that I can see, this is during the 1600s, okay, and who knows that, you know, the, how many lives have you gone through because this is just a general reading. Now, um, at this point, you were accused of something that you did not commit it that during that time you know, the, the mindset of the people or tribe or community or whatever it is at that time whatever you do whatever your practice is taboo 
all right so you hate it when someone accuses you of something or you hate it when somebody just finger points at you without even verifying if it's really you who did it okay it, it really pisses you off when somebody just accused you like oh you did that oh you did this okay or when they are just gonna be putting or if they will just put words into your mouth or if they will just tell you that okay this is what you do this is what you do you know you hate being like that and it's something that you can't stand because you feel like you've already gone through that in the past and you're also afraid of water you're afraid of big ships big body of water open water you know as you say or uh, riding in a cruise or you know even the movie Titanic it already like you know like uh, you're feeling something in your stomach every time you watch that movie you feel like you've died in that or you're so afraid of that or you can't even stand you know being out in the sea but the good thing here is you are gifted with so much wisdom for you to go through all the pains and all the obstacles in your life and like what you said you know sometimes being too strong is like a curse that it only leads you to an isolation because you keep on getting involved with somebody who is weaker than you or who is actually a weak soul for you okay and you also have some talent in uh, healing people or you have that gift of healing let's say for example that you would just listen to somebody's stories and then all of a sudden they'll just feel better or you know they'll feel they'll say that oh you know it feels so good talking to you like i i'm doing okay now and then you're gonna go home feeling so depressed dry weary or heavy or sad or something like that it's like you've already absorbed the negativities in them and that is because that you are healing people you know through that you're a good listener and um you know sometimes you just need to be a little bit more careful in advising people but you are it's like your energy is their medicine okay and you are also guided you know by your angels you have y you were sent out here on earth for a mission okay and that is the hard things that you're going through right now that is to lead other people out of the darkness that they are into so it means that you're a light worker okay and you're also very religious either you're a monk or none and you once lived as a greek roman okay so if you're fascinated about greek gods greek mythology or if you believe in atlantis or if you believe uh, well if you believe in th those like um samson and delilah stories or olympians or something like that it means that you have that sense of belonging or you can feel that somewhere back in time that you were once like them okay um I don't feel like you well it did not indicate it here about your relationship woos but let's take a look okay you have suffered from an unrequited love and you were uh, fixed with somebody which is out of your religion or out of your let's say for example a tradition okay that um it, it was it, it's already a practice for you to end up or for your family to fix you up with someone like for example same religion or like a family friend or something like that is that they will be fixing you into someone that is completely a stranger to you because they believe that they are the only one who can fix you up with your soulmate or you are the only one who can fix you up with someone that you should be with okay so there are some rituals and there are stuff but unfortunately it did not really work out that time because it is a forced um forced marriage not really forced marriage it is a fixed marriage but it is a love that has been forced like you did not have enough freedom or enough power to choose for your own you know for your own life for your own destiny for your own path you did not even love the, the person or the person did not even loved you back until that you were divided or you were separated because of your you know like you were two different opposed um opinions or you know mindset 
there needs to be some forgiving and learning that you have to do and that you have to give to this person that you were once with and i feel like this is a fire sign okay this is somebody who's been a very promising or they they keep on saying a lot of promises and they you know they carry themselves like they're very noble and they're very sensitive and uh, sophisticated and educated and stuff like that but then you know when you uh, when you marry them or when you uh, get to know them they're actually the most awful person you've ever known okay they're violent they're they're a gambler they're very promiscuous and they're you know they are also um, they don't really honor their promises as well and they're a very bad spouse okay either they don't provide or they don't really stay or they keep on drinking and there has been a lot of red flags okay and then you know to yourself that this is not really the right one for you but at that point you did not have you know enough choice or enough freedom or willpower you know to choose the the right person for you so right now the reason why you keep on ending up with people which is like say for example that you keep on ending up with some with some people or somebody that isn't that is of your choice but it's always you know not really in the right form or it always falls in the wrong direction it's good in the beginning and then later on it will just pivot into something more of a dark path kind of a relationship okay especially that you keep on getting involved with some people who is um, dependent on some substance or they have some you know some dark habits like drinking gambling womanizing hitting you know and uh, or being violent it is because that there is a certain karmic debt or karmic lesson that you have to learn and that you have to put up with all right now about your life path so right now right after all of this you know right after all of this um lessons from the past what are you supposed to be at this point justice talk to your angels practice because you have um you actually have um this one um talent in music and arts speaker you're on the right path options books okay now i feel like you know this one justice this is related to banks finances government law law enforcement military okay now i feel like this is more about the um more likely an organization like human rights okay because at that point you have wished for your own right to be practiced like you feel so suffocated you feel so like bottled up and you feel like you know you don't have your own voice so there is a part of you that you want to empower other either men or women to voice out their you know their emotions to voice out whatever that's on their mind and don't be uh, don't be scared or don't be afraid okay to lead the path that they know that you know that is where they long to be so this is more likely about empowering okay or uh, bringing justice to some unfair situations that you know some other people actually a lot of people are going through right now and you also need to talk to your angels every time that you feel so down every time that there is something wrong or every time that something just you know takes off in your life and you don't even know why it's happening that way that you know most of the times you are um you're being pointed into a direction that is definitely unknown to you and you're so afraid of the unknown okay you always want to there's also another thing because you also feel the need of controlling things because you're so afraid what if you don't control this it will go this way or what if you don't know what's going to happen then it will go that way okay you might be afraid of you know what is going to happen you or you're so afraid of 
what is not going to happen that will be according to you or according to your judgment okay and practice you have talent in music and arts okay so if you have a hidden talent into this or if you're so shy or you don't really believe in yourself it's time for you to have some more faith in this sensitivity there are some things in your life right now that you know that it should point out to a change okay and that you know that it should change as well so you're aware of the things that is coming and not coming and not really happening so sometimes you just want to force things to happen your way which is you just need to you know um you need to leave it all up to the universe and faith okay and speaker as i've said that you you know in your past life you were not really given the freedom to choose you were not really given the freedom to um love or sorry or be with someone that you really love a person of your choice to be with so you are you know you have that um what do you call this you will have that um like leadership thing okay that people will listen to you if ever that you will lead them out of the darkness that they are in okay because you've already gone through those dire kind of situation and you know how it is to be in that kind of situation so you are the first person who will understand their situation okay and of course to take them out of it and you're already in the right path and options consider the career possibilities that are open to you and books you you always thrive and you always have the thirst for new knowledge okay and you always have the thirst for like something new for you to share it with others you love it when when you can share something new with other people with your friends with your family if you can lead them but do not dominate them okay so anyway that's it for you for this well it is only for this retrograde singles if ever that you are you know thinking why is it that your life is going this way and you have a lot of questions the car did not uh, well the cars did not showed anything about your um your love life so i feel like you know um that is not really a priority uh, priority right now but it's more about your life direction where your life should go and you know although i feel like it's more about um um learning the lessons of the past mm, let me pull out more clarification about your soulmate oh see i told you that you've gone through unrequited love okay wow oh. and you are so concerned about financial security because you've gone through a lot of difficult and struggling times well okay um it did not show anything about your soulmate so it could be next time okay we can read about that anyway that's it for you for this month and this retrograde aries so if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you